This Headless Professor video is about how the 20th century simple rating plan works. This is a simple plan, but it's not the best plan for you. It's not the easiest way to get an A. There are some advantages, which is why some students do use this plan. There are no calculations to perform. You can submit your project after the deadline for the rough draft. Now you will have to meet all other deadlines on your project. A disadvantage is that you might get a lower grade than you would receive using the multiple options plan. Another disadvantage is that you will receive no feedback other than a letter grade, and you'll have no opportunity for revision. Now, in order to qualify for this simple 20th century plan, you must complete the final exam and the term project. If you lack either of these, then you must use the multiple options grading plan. Here's how the simple grading plan works. You get a letter grade for your project. You get a letter grade for your final exam. Your semester grade is the lower of these two. If your class permits two projects and you do both, you will receive a letter grade on each of them and on your final exam and your semester grade will be the median of these three letter grades. Let's look at some examples. Susie got a C on the final exam, but a B on her term project. So she earned a C grade for the semester. John got an A on the final exam, but only got a C on his project. So he earned a C grade for the semester. Jill got an A on the final exam, but she did not finish her project by the deadline. That's an F for the project and an F for the semester grade. The best advice I can give you is get a project approved early in the semester. If you don't get a project approved, you cannot do this simple 20th century plan. Stay ahead of all the rest of the deadlines. Write the project on Google Documents. Finish the rough draft by the deadline. Then revise your project by the end of the semester. In other words, do the 21st century 